Hello friends, this is Deepak from Epiteria. In this example, we are going to learn how to use bottom navigation view with fragments in your, in your Android app. Bottom navigation view can be a great feature to implement navigation in your Android application. So let's see how to do this. So here I'm using Android Studio 2.3.1. I'll create a new project for this. I will name it as bottom navigation view. I'll click on next. I'll keep API 15. Now here you need to select the bottom navigation activity, which will uh, have bottom navigation view added in your activity template. So I'll say next. I'll keep name as main activity finish Our layout is ready now this project is asking me to sync the project so I'll just click on sync now it will sync the necessary files which are required for the IDE uh, and the bottom navigation view. So I'll just say I just clicked on sync now. Now it will build the gradle and make project ready for us. Okay, now the project is ready. First of all, I'll just run it as is so that you can see what type of activity it is creating when we are using the bottom navigation view so it is installing APK and launching activity now you can see it has launched the activity which is having three bottom navigation view so if I click on there are three that is home dashboard and notifications so if I click on dashboard you can see here the text is changing and if I click on notification, it is showing notification. So basically in this template, what we will get is there is one text view and this template will change the text on that text view dynamically when we will change the bottom navigation item, right? So when we'll select the new item, it will execute this listener that is on navigation item selected listener. And based on the ID, it is just changing the text on that uh, bottom navigation uh, on that text view right now we'll see uh, how to add fragments and change the fragments when you click on this navigation bottom items as well as we'll see how to change the text and icons for the uh, bottom navigation so first step we'll see how to change the icon and text so for that you need to open this file under res menu navigation I'll just click on that navigation.xml file here those three items are defined that is home text and dashboards right so we will change only one of that so instead of dashboard i will i will add one uh, <clears throat> new icon there called as share right so for that you need to add so if you want to change the uh, image you can add image asset or a vector asset so here i'm using vector asset and I will create one vector asset for say share right so I'll select this one and I'll say okay next and finish now I have added one new icon in my project I'll replace this IC underscore dashboard with IC underscore share right now it is it will show a new icon at the bottom i also want to change the text so you need to change this title property here i will type share to add this file in sync.xml just select the text and hit alt alt enter select this option called as extract string resource and now if you say okay it will add your file the title or string in the strings.xml file i'll say okay <clears throat> now I have changed the bottom navigation icon and text so you can see here it is showing uh, share icon and the title now we'll add 
three fragments in our project so that we can load three fragments at three different navigation view right so you can also add now here it is having in template it is having three navi uh, bottom navigation items you can add you can if you want to remove you can add remove uh, any of the item and if you want to add more you can add up to five items there right so you can add two more items in your bottom navigation view fine now to add a fragment right click on your app folder say new fragment and blank fragment you can use any of the ready-made template like if you want to show some list on your fragment you can use this list and uh, also with one google plus button there are two templates so we'll select the blank one i will name it as home fragment finish okay we want to add two more so i'll just again right click new fragment Oh, it is uh, after adding the fragment it is building my project so we need to wait till that build is completed okay now i'll add one more and i will name it as share fragment and the last one for our notifications oh it is again taking time notification fragment and now three fragments are ready first we will add something on our layout of the fragment so this is fragment underscore home here it is having one text view i'll just add you can see here i'll just remove this text view I will remove this text view and I will add one button there so you can drag and drop one button there right and I will change the text as home button So I have added text as home button. Now on this button, it will show home button. Similarly, I will add button on all the fragments. So we just delete this and drag and drop one button. And this time I'll change the text to share button. Just for example, we can add different views there. Share button. notification layout so I will say notification button and I will show notification button on the button so this is on the na fragment navigation so that I that is why I have changed the text and again on the share uh, I will delete this and I will drag and drop a button and this time I can use that already created string that is a share button also okay okay now three layouts are ready now in our main activity uh, we, uh, we we are having that fragment layout this layout is having ID content and in this we can load different fragments so currently it is having one text view so we do not want that so you can delete that text view so i have deleted that text view now we are going to load all our layer fragments into this fragment layout and this is the bottom navigation view on click of that we will change the fragments in this fragment layout now after deleting that you need to open your main activity and in main activity now this text view we do not want so just remove that text view object you will find all the errors where it is used so you can simply remove that code where that text view is used fine okay 
now here in this uh, bottom navigation view we will add a code to change the fragment so first in this on navigation item selected you need to create object of a fragment manager so this fragment manager will manage all the fragments i'll say create a fragment manager is equal to get support fragment manager so here we are creating object of a fragment manager then we, we need to use a fragment transaction to transit our fragments so i'll say fragment transaction and i'll name it as transaction equal to our object of a fragment manager dot begin transaction so we want to begin the transaction here when user will click on any of the navigation items so we are saying begin transaction now after beginning the transaction we need to pass, pass the fragment which we want to load to the transaction so here if user will click on the home icon we will say transaction dot replace and then we'll pass r dot id dot content now this is content is id of our uh, fragment layout i'll show you once again so this is on our activity underscore main content in, uh, content is the id of this frame layout so in this we are going to load all our uh, fragments so that's why we need to first pass the id of the parent that is r dot id dot content and then you need to pass the object of a fragment so we'll create a new object of our home fragment when user will click on home and i'll say uh, then you need to call the commit to commit the transaction and then semicolon now uh, here we haven't changed the id so i will just change the id also to share because so we are just change the icon so i will say navigation underscore share so here we need to change that id as well so if user will click on share uh, navigation item then we'll say transaction dot replace r dot id dot contain comma new share intent uh, share fragment right dot comment and of course similarly for our navigation notifications dot replace r dot id dot contain comma new notification fragment dot comment. Okay. so this is how uh, our navigation bottom view code is ready you need to remove this line called as throw new runtime exception this exception is coming because you need to handle this that is whenever the fragment will be attached to the uh, main activity or any activity you need to handle this so here i will just remove that throw new line and i will add one close message saying notif Notification fragment attached. I just copy this and in share fragment also. In every fragment, you'll find that exception, uh, throw new runtime exception. I'll just remove and I will change that to like this share. And similarly for your notification, we have already done that. Then share, we have done. Then home. Home in home, you need to add this notification from sense of home and then we'll run it again now you can see it is showing that home button is every uh, layout is there now one more thing when our application is loading it is not showing that view by default so we will just add this line in our load the home fragment when the activity is created right so i'll just run it again okay now you can see that at the first uh, when the application is launching it is showing home fragment and on click of that it is showing notification so you can handle this uh, instead of this toast message you can handle that on attach event and you can write your code there 
now we'll see on click of this home buttons we haven't written anything so to write code on your particular fragment you have separate file called as this home fragment share fragment and notification fragment and here we are having one function called as convert to uh, on create view this function will get called whenever it is creating the view for that particular fragment so we can find that button in this uh, using this inflate function so basically inflate it used to convert your xml file that is this layout file into a programmable object so that we can find views from that particular layout so uh, it is returning that view so we'll just you can see the output type of the convert view is view so that is returning this particular view which is inflated using this fragment file so what we will do we will save this in take one of the view and then we will return that view and in between we will find a button out of that so we'll say button btn home is equal to button find view by id okay we will not get find view by id directly so we need to say view dot find view by id because now we want to find the view in particular fragment and this is the object of that fragment so we are saying view dot find view by id and then here we will pass the id of that button so i think the id we haven't changed so that is why the id default id is button so i'll pass button here and then i'll say begin home dot set on click listener new on click listener and in this i'll pass the toast message that is here you will have get the context so you need to pass get activity there so you'll get the context of the uh, parent activity and here i'll say home button click all right so i will just copy this part and i will add this in all the fragments so here in on create i will just add that and i will need to change this to view of view equal to and id of course for share we need to check what is the id so the id is big button 3 so i'll say button 3 here and here we change the text and share button click similarly for the notification here in on create view i will add that code so basically whenever you want to implement these fragments you need to uh, and if you want to find any objects like button edit text text views then you need to use this on create view function you need to use this view and from that view we can find your views okay for the notification the id is button 2 so i'll change the id to button 2 and here i will say show a message that notification button click so that's it now i'll execute this project okay now you can see uh, this fragments and the button on that fragment so when i click on that you can see that home button click so this is how you can use your bottom navigation view activities template with fragments and you can of course customize these fragments as per your requirement so thank you for watching guys hope this video will help you subscribe our channel for more videos like this and don't forget to click on the bell sign to get the notifications of all the videos which we are uploading on our channel thank you